What is your take on how harmful a return to sanctions a, and a new sanctions regime might be to this process that's working out right now with the P5 plus one? Well, first, uh, the problem with Iran side is not the new sanction, is the existing sanction. Yeah. You know, they have been trying to get uh, relief from the existing sanction, and that is not coming true. Mm. On the new sanctions, obviously they will be disappointed and they will not like it, but I don't believe any, any, anything will stop them from negotiating. Nothing I don't think that Iran will ever walk out. Really? I don't think so. Not even a new round, a new round of sanctions. A new round of sanctions and anything. Iran will not give this pretext to anybody, to international community and others, uh, that, that they have walked out. So I think they will stay. So, Professor, before we get to your thoughts on the chances of coming to some kind of a deal here, uh, time does feel as though it's starting to run out here a bit. Uh, what's, what are the remaining sticking points here to, to making a deal happen? Well, there are uh, basically two issues. Uh, one is the enrichment capacity of Iran, which means the number of centrifuges and the kind of centrifuges that Iran can maintain or operate. Right. And second is the amount of enriched uranium that it can keep at home. And the Americans have been pushing for Iran to have no more than 4,000 centrifuges right. operating and that uh, uh, whatever uh, enriched uranium they have, they should send it to Russia right. for uh, you know, making it into fuel rod and return to Iran. So these are very tough uh, positions to take. And Iran obviously wants to maintain its 9,000 centrifuges operating and that it doesn't really want to send this enriched uranium to Russia because that will be like a, a, a for Iranian perspective, a, a new colonial <laughs> you know, policy. Right. There, there, there hasn't been, correct me if I'm wrong here, there hasn't been much progress made in, in this particular issue, has there, over the last year, right? Yeah, well, first, uh, if you remember in this very program, I have said almost over and over, that, uh, that reaching an agreement is not going to be easy. Right, I have been did. probably more pessimistic than anybody on this matter. The fact there are two problems here. One, the, word, the very word comprehensive is really <laughs> problematic. There are, there are, it raises too much expectation. There are too many in it. And I don't think that they should really stay with it. I mean, they have been making this, what I call, mini deals. Yeah, and yeah. They should just continue making mini deals until to, to the point where that this, the sum total of all these mini deals become comprehensive. I see what you So mean. why not yeah, to yeah, do yeah. that? That's one issue. And the second is that I think when you, got, when you get into the comprehensive issue and given the time frame right. and all that expectations from both sides, it just becomes You impossible. need something by the, essentially the end of March. That's right. And it's very important to also understand that people like Menendez or uh, mm -hmm. Senator mm -hmm. Kirks really are uh, the uh, pressure forces. Yes. I have, I mean, AIC, the American Iranian Council issued three uh, statements basically saying that this is really a back, bad cop, good cop policy. Yeah, yeah. And they have been trying to use Menendez and Kirk to pressure Iran into. But we're at a place uh, now where this is a Republican controlled Congress, so I have to ask before I let you go here what are the chances that any deal, even if it's considered by the international community a good deal mm -hmm. between the United States, the P5 plus one, and Iran is accepted by this Congress, this Republican-controlled Congress, and the sanctions are lifted? I don't think that's the problem. I don't think any deal will not survive uh, beyond Mr. Obama. That's almost certain, right? My advice to Iran has always been, don't make a deal with, uh, with M M President Obama that that does not have the support of the American Congress. Yeah. Because that would that's be been a, your advice. That's, that's my advice. I think it would be a, a terrible mistake on Iran's side to sign a deal with uh, this administration that does not have the Congress's approval. Uh, great to see you, uh, Professor Amir Ahmadi. He ran for president uh, of Iran in 2013, and now he's a professor at Rutgers University. Uh, a pleasure to have you back on the program. Good to see you. Uh, thank you. Thank you.